that says, Man may not understand how far you've brought me. Men may not understand. Men may not understand how far you've brought me. I don't know how you take this business, but I really know that that word settlement, it, it, it's prophetic. It was for me. I don't know what it, whether you know what it means to take care of two children all alone, all alone without help. I don't know whether you know what it means. At my age, my father still sent me 1,000 naira and foodstuffs. And I will tell Jesus, when will I be able to reciprocate this? For how long? For how long? For how long? I don't know whether you know what it means for somebody to bring a camera to your house and video your house and go and show their neighbors that you don't even have a chair, that you don't even have where to eat, that you don't even have anything, that you are poor. They don't even know. But I have felt poverty to that extent where you cannot put offering in church, where somebody will tell you in church, you are the only one owing, where you will sit down in a keke with 15 hours just to carry two children on your laps. I don't know whether you've ever felt that way. This girl called Asian, I used to sell Coke and biscuits. I sell Gary. I sell everything sellable just to make sure my children go to the best school, just to make sure we feed. And I celebrate blessing because she never one day came to my house and asked me, please, can you give me a chair to sit down? If I roll on the floor, she rolls on the floor. If I lie on the floor, she lies on the floor. And God brought Snowland to me through an angel. I have never been marketed. Somebody came to my shop to take Coke and biscuits. And when I talk about it, people think it's a joke. She was not talking to me. She was calling somebody on phone, which we closed the man last month. That same man that somebody came and marketed. She just told me, give me Coke and biscuit. Because I did not have light. I gave her hot Coke. And she managed to drink it. And she was discussing me this business with somebody on phone. And I told God, can I do it? She said, yes, you can do it. Move to her. And I told her, I want to do this business. She sized me up and said, the list is 87,000. That means I cannot afford it. I'm going to check my life. Finish. I'm going to get 87,000. See how people are where, crying. Where will I get 87,000? And that lady that used to pay school fees in so many installments. I will go there and pay the principal. Please just allow my son. My son will tell me I never want to test feed drive. I'm not shedding I tears from this testimony. But today, I pay it ahead. I pay it stretch ahead because I don't want, I might forget, I'm very busy. So when she told me about the Norland, I told her, what do I do? She told me they will give you products worth your money. I said, okay. I went out borrowing money from my friends because I could not raise that kind of money. You On earth, where would I get that kind of money? So I borrowed 5,000, 10,000 and scattered the buy and, and gathered the money. And I was the one that called her after two weeks. I told her, can you remember me? Please come and take. And she took me to Blessing's house. That was my first time in life meeting this angel. And they gave me products. They, gave, they registered me and I never asked for products. I did not go to that company because I was sick. I was not sick on the body, but my pocket was sick. I did not have money at all. I was beautiful inside, but the beauty did not reflect because I was poor. What will you eat? What will you not think of to bring out? The, I, I was sick. I will lie down on the bed till morning, no sleep. Where you go sleep? They mad. Thinking of how I will make my children go to school the following morning. Thinking of how I can make them measure up. I see us go to uh, parties and my children cannot mix up because I'm eating. You are not there. So when this business came to me, I took it like my life. And she told me I had to bring only two people. I said, if you see two, I'll bring 20, I'll bring 100. 
You see, people, if I can sell Coke and Biscuit, that is not even my brand. I don't even know how it is being mixed. Then I can sell this product to people. I can talk about it. I asked for my product after three months or four months. I didn't care about the product. It was only when I sent Vision Capsule to my dad, and my dad told me that I can now read without lenses. And I went back to ask her, hey, give me my product. But before that time, I've made money. So every one Naira that drops as a wallet is far more than rubies to me. It's, a, it's precious to me. I don't call it money, I call it gold. So because I could not afford a comfortable place to live, now in three months I've been able to get myself a duplex. Yes, wow. a duplex. A beautiful duplex. And suit. I all my I don't I don't I don't know I don't I don't know what else I should use the money for. But I want to prove to Seta that, that you are wrong. Mm. It was my dream that I should go to every part of the country. And I'm living my dream life. I know that in this business I have touched lives. I know that I have introduced at least two persons to this business that have qualified for cars. I don't know what you are using your business for. Now talk to yourself. Who did you introduce to the business and what have you done to bring that person to a limelight? Yes, I move on the streets. I am a graduate. I studied philosophy, but there was no job. I used to lie down with my girlfriend in my, in my room and she went out to work in mobile. And I was crying, I was telling God, when will you do it for me? There was no church I did not visit. There was no prophet I did not see. Until one day I told, I told my friend, I will never go to church again. I will never visit any prophet. If God does not want to help me, let me leave it. And that was when he came. And today, you can call that name as Sian Nolan. Today, you can see the beauty on me. Today, when I come out, if you don't admire you, you are, there is something wrong with you. Yes, I am beautiful because I have money. Yes, I am beautiful because I am successful. Yes, I am beautiful because... God has made it so. I never knew I could stand on the mirror and see the complexion. Sweetheart, I, dev I have never rubbed cream in my life. Those people that know me, they know me. I don't have cream. But if you see how God washes that, that poverty from me, God is real. Nolan is real. God bless you all. Thank you.